Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to Say Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, and great minstone. Christian word, truthfully and sincerely. And uh, Shalom to Akim, scattered through four corners of the globe. Christian word, truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim. Uh, that be like unto the speck of bird. Christian word, truthfully and sincerely. And I say Shalom to y'all out there. And this is a. Uh, outside walk and talk lesson in the news on this uh, East uh, Jane Salaki. <laughs> I'm going to say July the 3rd, 2022 uh, 6.54 p.m. Central Standard Time uh, on the Saturday afternoon. And uh, this is a news article for in the news for today on July the 2nd, 2022. And a highlight of this article, and it reads from RT.com World News, alternative news around the world. And it says, uh, deaths, deaths and injuries reported at the immense mass protest in Uberstan. Uh, Uberstan has declared a state of emergency as a violence has erupted in its anonymous region over draft constitution amendments. A mass protest half engulfed in northern Uberstan on Friday, which was uh, yesterday, as the uh, Central Asian <laughs> National to revoke certain uh, certain rights from the largest autonomous region as part of a plan to constitute changes. The standoff between the protesters and the law enforcement has apparently turned violent. And videos on social media shows people supposedly injured in the clashes and bodies allegedly lied on the street. Horrible scene, an entire street covered with blood. Sometimes, you know, these uh, <laughs> these social media of these news articles might be, sometimes might be, uh, not might be true. And then sometimes it might be true. Sometimes you can't fully uh, trust the uh, media sometimes and the news especially as well too but continuing on with the reading horrible scenes at the entire street cover with blood reads an entire to one video published by a telegram channel run by a Kazakhstan uh, footage apparently taken from a roof of a lower rise building showing pools of reddish liquid covered parts of a uh, road as a armored police vehicle was driving along the street. A large crowd of protesters, it says a, a large crowd of protesters can be seen approaching a squad car of law enforcement wearing protective gear and c carrying shields. The officers do not appear to be taking any aggression action. Nobody's no bodies can be seen lying on the street. It says footage of a pair appeared up on social media is shot presumably in Uberstan in the city of Nicosis, the capital of autonomous of Karpakostan, if I pronounce that right. The video shows blood on the pavement after the demonstrations. I'm a, uh, probably like mute the video because I don't want no copyright or anything like that. As you've seen that little 13 second clip right there. Assume, assuming that might be blood, most likely it's probably not, <laughs> you know. But uh, continue on with the reading. It says some other video shows the protest is supposedly carrying injured people to safety. Several people covered in blood lying in the streets of the city of Nacogdoches in northwest Uberstan, according to the post on Telegram. It says there were uh, injured by the law enforcement officially during the process. Several photos were also shown bodies lying on the streets. Uh, RT could not Independent, independently verify the authentic, 
the intricacies of the video and photos at the moment. It says the Uber zip is <coughs> locked in. Um, the Uber's uh, authorities have so far commented on the um, casualties amending the, that protest. The Uber stands president, Sharkov Moskos, we pronounce his name right. He imposed a state of emergency in the uh, Northwest Uber Autosomous region of uh, Karkopostan on Saturday. The region has become a epic center of process. It says uh, this is a protest continuing in Nukas Uberstan, the capital though of Karopastan. Clashes between protesters and the security forces are reported. This is information about the deaths as a result of protesters, but their exact number is unknown. So I'm gonna show this photo as well. Because I'm on a copyright claim. Protesters clashes between uh, the security forces and the protesters out there. All they are packed out there in streets with cars as well too. So the state of emergency was comes into force on Sunday night. It's scheduled to stay in place until early August. The presidential administration has uh, said in a statement on Telegram, the state's emergency will involve a nighttime curfew between 21 and 7 o'clock local time the Uber kit uh, media has reported so you know I ain't gonna read the rest of all this so you know if this is a hundred percent true that goes to show you with the increase of uh, you know the uh, upwards of the people in the world you know and that's the spirit I had did a video on that about a couple of hours ago earlier today. You know, you had those different protesters over there in Sudan. You had protesters over there in, uh, I, I forgot what the country it was, but I did that as well too. But, you know, it was other countries that I uh, showed, that was, that was the news articles, and I broke down, broke down with the scriptures as well too, you know. So, you know, that goes to show you with the increase of, uh, up was of the people in the world, you know. And I'm gonna bring out that scripture again this since I mentioned that, you know. Uh second Ezra. This is the book of uh Second Ezra, chapter nine, verse three. Therefore, when there shall be scenes uh, earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, right? That's what we are seeing. You know, especially these, uh, the uproars of the people of the world, you're seeing these, uh, you know, these these uh, citizens of these uh, countries in the around the world, respectfully in these countries, you know, they, they're in the uproar of their uh, political leaders and political figures that's in power, you know. Whatever, uh, whatever that's, was being announced from that political leader or political figure that's ruling over in that country or around the world, you know. The citizens highly oppose it, you know. And that's why you're seeing increases of uh, uproars and, and protests around the world, you know, because this is uh, written in the scriptures, you know. And I'm bring out Second Ezra uh, 15 verse 16. And it's going to increase even more and more, you know. Even though we're so adapt to hearing these things, but it's gonna furthermore increase, increase more and more as the time progresses on, you know. Uh, this is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 15, verse 16. For there shall be sedition among men, invading one another, and there shall not regard their kings nor their princes. 
in the course of their actions should stand in their power, right? Because these citizens of these countries that oppose, that's against of what rules or announcements that's being brought out for these uh, political leaders and political figures, you know, that's bringing out um, certain things, which is uh, not fit well with the citizens of the country, you know? That's why they highly oppose it. And then they go, they be in the uproar with the protesters around the world. That's what you're seeing right now, you know? <clears throat> so it's going to increase more and more, you know, with these uh, protesters around the world, you know? Because this is biblical prophecy times that we are living in, you know? And it's going to increase more and more and more in the last days that we are living in, you know? Because the, hey, because they're going to, like I said, I mentioned in my previous video, you know, they're going to take protesters to a, to another level, you know? That's why you're seeing around these countries are these uh, political leaders, you know, these citizens, they get right next to their house where they live at. They know the address where they live at. Set their car on fire, you know? Uh, try to try to get close to them, you know. So you know these uh, protesters, they're gonna take this to a whole another level, you know. So these are the uh, signs of the times, you know, that we are living in, you know. And you're gonna see more of these things uh, increase in the last days, you know. Of these uh, citizens of the of the country, you know, they highly oppose against their government, their political leaders, that's that's ruling in those uh, respectable countries. You know, they make the rules and regulations and sign the things into law, you know. And the citizens of those countries, they go be against it, you know. Even even if they're, they're from the liberal side or they're from the conservative side, you know. Because they already, you know, and you know, you already have, you know, the left, the left versus the right already, you know. Especially here in the United States, because the left and the right, they really don't get along with each other, especially the one that's in power right now with our current uh, president and especially uh, and another president that's going to run in 2024, you know. So, hey, even if it's both sides, both sides on the liberal side and the conservative side, they're going to have that increase of uh, sedition among men, you know, invading one another, you know not just only against each other, you know, they're gonna do it against their political leaders and their political figures as well too. That's that uh, run these office, these uh, districts and stuff like that. You know, they highly oppose of what the leaders of these uh, respectable countries, you know, and they highly oppose these, uh, well, these rules and regulations of things that's being signed into law, stuff like that. And the citizens, sometimes they might highly impose it. And then they take it to a whole nother level and, and try to, hey, try to <laughs> mess these politicians and leaders up, you know? Even though I'm not fully with that, but I'm just, I'm just bringing out the word as I see these things in the news transpire, you know? And that's what we're seeing is gonna increase it more and more. You know, because this is a uh, prophesy in the Holy Scriptures. All these things will take place. And we're seeing these things take place on the planet Earth right now, you know. And I'm going to bring it out again for edification's sake. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 15, verse 16. For there shall be sedition among men invading one another. There shall not regard their kings nor their princes in the course of their actions that stand in their power right. And that's what we're seeing. We're seeing the increase of the sedition among men, you know. The increase of uh, protests around the world, upwards in the people of the world, you know. And I'm gonna bring out Luke 21 and 25, you know. And this is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 25. And there shall be signs in the sun, in the moon, in the stars, and upon the earth, the stress of nations, with perplexity and sea and raging war. Right, because we're seeing the increase in the uproars in the people of the world, you know, with the protesters around the world, as you see that increasing even more by the days and months and years. And, um, yeah, you're seeing the uproars of the people of the world, the uproars of the nations, the perplexity of the nations as well, too. You know, they rising up, you know. <clears throat> you know, they dealing with this uh, in, in, in hyper, they dealing with this uh, hyperinflation stuff. You know, with the cost of living and all that, and people are 
in the uproar, in the uproar of uh, of uh, political of their political leaders, the ones that's in, in in charge, you know. And they they feel like they ain't doing nothing about it, you know. They might do like certain alternatives to smooth down the situation, to ease the situation, but a lot of times, um, you know, the citizens and the nations. The perplexity and the discretion of nations, you know, sometimes they might get fed up and they have a, a uproar of it, you know, and that's what we're seeing around the world, you know. As I just brought out that uh, news article of what's happening over there in Uberstan, it's a state of emergency over there, you know. And I believe that's what the uh, amending of the constitutional rights or some amendment of constitutional rights or something like that. So, you know. So yeah, you know, we're gonna see more increase of that. And that's gonna be coming even more increasingly here in modern day Babylon, you know. That's gonna come as well too. You're gonna see more of increase in upwards of the people. And I believe uh it was a, a Judite, you know, he had got shot like 60 times or something like that by the cops. And then, you know, certain protesters might threaten to cancel 4th of July. So that goes to show you signs right there, you know, perplexity, perplexity of the stress of the nations, what you see, you know. You know, you might have like heavy clashes between the uh, security forces or police forces, you know, that works with the government. You know, they're in an the uproar against the government and their political leaders and political figures in that, that uh, sedition among men or that Mark 3 and 25. If a house be divided, how should it stand? And you're seeing that around the world as well too, with the nations, the liberal versus conservative. Not just only here in modern day Babylon, you're seeing that you're seeing that division around the world as well too, you know. Sometimes you might have the division between the left and the right. And you might have divisions between the uh, the citizens of their country against their uh, political leaders, political figures that's in power, that's ruling in those respectable countries, towns and cities and states, you know, in certain districts. So it's gonna be an increase of uh, discretion nations and sedition among men. You know, people gonna have that sedition among men's type spirit. And it's gonna increase more and more. So with that, you know, I hope this, uh, outside uh walk and talk lesson in the news for today on this uh july the 2nd 2022 on the saturday afternoon i hope this was edifying through the spirit power grace and mercy of uh yahweh yahusha and uh first and foremost i'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to yahweh bashim yahweh shah bashim makakadash Double honors to the elders, apostles, a great millstone. Preaching this word, truthfully and sincerely. And shout out to the Akim, scattered to the four corners of the globe. Preaching the word, truthfully and sincerely. And shout out to the Akim, that uh, be like unto the speckled bird. Preaching the word, truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say shout out and above all.